think the important thing you should be picking up about this is I'm using all of the basic stuff, right? Like I've got outhouses and not uh, the other kind of toilet, whatever it is. Um, wash basins and not sinks. Um, that's so I don't have to have all of the plumbing, the pipes, the pumps, and uh, like a water sieve and a power generator, all of the stuff that goes to have to, to su goes into the base, all of the hardware you have to use in order to support that. Um, all that stuff, you know, it generates heat and kills you. And until you can deal with it, it's best to stay away from it because that's how you hang yourself. Uh, so I can't believe it. I already recorded this entire video, and when I went back and looked at the footage, it was it only recorded like the upper left quarter of the screen. It's the worst. So here we go again. Um, before the last time I tried to record it, I had no experience at all with uh, the new the new test build. So I'm trying the new test build, but more importantly, I'm going to do a demo for how to start a base without, uh, well, without dying, without, you know, running out of food or oxygen or making everything too hot and all the other various ways that uh, new players have a hard time, uh, you know, getting past the earlier mid-game. Um, so actually, in principle, it's not that, it's not that complicated. Uh, the, the reason this game is hard that way is because they give you a lot of rope to hang yourself with. Um, it's just a matter of being... Uh, you know, having self-control about uh, doing all of the things before you're ready for them, right? Um, and I, I guess I'll show you what I mean. I don't know, what, what seems... In, okay, this one has four things, so let's just go with it, because I want to try new stuff. Um, start game. So, what I mean by it gives you a lot of rope to hang yourself with is they actually give you all the tools you need to establish a base without, like even pumps to pump around liquids or gases, um, which means you don't have to have like power generators to generate power because those generate a lot of heat, so you don't have to deal with so much heat. So if you just if you just like have some self control and you don't jump into um, all the if if you just use the basic stuff they give you in the beginning to establish a basic base in the beginning then you you don't really it doesn't there's no real problems uh, it doesn't cause any problems and then you can sort of advance to the mid game by uh by making those things better the things that you have better um i i don't know if that's a good explanation i'm going to name it festerus because that's a name i i use sometimes <laughs> okay so, I made a list. Let me get my notes out so you can see what I mean. I made a list as sort of a guide for myself to make sure I don't miss anything. In the beginning, for a basic base, you need beds, bathrooms, water access, research, oxygen, and farms. So, there's six things. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to look around real quick, get a feel for where the water is. Okay. Beds. But one, how come I can't build it? One, two, three, I'm going to put four in, uh, so I already have a bed ready for the next duplicate. Beds, now bathrooms, let's put them, I'm going to put a ladder here. Oh, yeah, never mind there. I'm, I, <laughs> the meal wood is in the way and it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, now we'll put in some bathrooms. Um, I think that, let me see, I'll, I'll have a door here, so I'll start the bathrooms there. Uh, now, I'm not sure about how many wash basins you need for each outhouse you have, but I've always not thought about it too hard, and just made three, three wash basins and three outhouses, which is probably way more than I need. I want to eventually get this water to spill down into this reservoir. Well, let's not worry about that yet. Um, next, we need water access. So, I like to keep my floors and, uh, you know, four tiles high, so one, two, one, two, three, four. So this will be a four. And one, two, three, four. That'll be a four. I guess that's, that's pretty good. I'll put a uh, pitcher pump in. Yeah, what I mean by water access is just to get 
wait a minute. I don't, I don't think I counted that right. Um, just, you know, a pitcher pump so that dupes can get water and a bottle emptier so they can uh, dispose of liquids. I'm doing something right now that I know a lot of you are going to basically consider to be heresy. I'm going to put my liquids that I dispose of right in the same reservoir as my source of water. Um, I know that that seems like a bad idea, but I also think that if you fixate on um, keeping everything separate and clean and beautiful, then you, you basically end up working really hard to do something that doesn't matter. And it's a heck of a lot less work. And uh, I mean, I guess the main thing is we'll end up getting food what is it, food poisoning germs or something in my clean water, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. I remember it's important in the early game to keep things simple, and it's pretty hard to get rid of all the germs and make, you know, separate storage areas and move things around without making it complicated. Okay, so we have beds, bathrooms, water access. Uh, what's the other thing? I know there's another main one. Oh, research. Uh, we need to make a... I'll put it, I'll put it on this level. So the only access to power you have this early in the game is the hamster wheel. And I want to make a battery. Apparently I need some metal for that. Let's see, I'm just going to dig out. That'll probably be enough there. And okay, I'm going to I'm going to end up needing I'm going to end up needing to dig up here to get the access to some of this stuff anyway. So here we go. That's a ton. Great. All my dupes are busy making the base. Oh, I probably have the metal I need now. So, hamster wheel, battery, research station. And normally I would say don't use power for anything. It's just, uh, you know, it's one of the things in the game that you want to avoid early on, and you need very little of it. But of course you have to do research or else, or else you're, never, you're never going anywhere, and that requires power, but not much. So the hamster wheel and the battery and a research station, that'll get you started nice, nicely. All right, so research, and what's next? I guess farms. I like to put my farms up at the top because uh, in the mid game, there's a tendency for the area that has where you store your water to get warm. And I don't want to have to compete directly with that uh, to grow my, you know, my mealwood. Because if it gets too hot, it doesn't work. It doesn't grow. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start. I'm digging out that spot for the farms, but I mean I can't. I don't have farm tiles yet, so um, start the research. Now I want algae terrariums to produce oxygen, and the farm tiles to start my farms. So that's what I'm researching first. And I kind of want them to get this. I'd like them to get this stuff done. We need the water access. And I should have mentioned this, but I'm going to make this reservoir a bit bigger so that it's not um, over full, because it's, it's too high right now. You can see I've already got a bit of polluted water in there. It's already germy. Don't fight it. Just accept the germs. Accept it. They're not they're not gonna hurt you, really. And that's why that's why you shouldn't worry about it too much. I don't I don't know if I've ever had food poisoning on any dupe ever. Um slimeling can be a thing, um, but if you just control the polluted oxygen in your base and maybe no excessive exposure to slime everywhere, uh then that's not really an issue either. I think there's new diseases, but I haven't I haven't had the opportunity to experience them. All right, into the first day. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. All right, so I'm gonna set this uh, the bottle emptier to everything, and I, I like to set the bottle emptier to priority nine because otherwise you end up with uh, bottles sitting everywhere because the dupes seem to not really make it a priority. And when it's all like polluted oxygen and stuff, I mean polluted water, that is, then it it can it just it's just messy. It gets polluted oxygen everywhere, and I don't like it. Um, now what I want to do is spill this other clean water down into my reservoir. So, but first I need to make space for it. It's really a bit more than that. Let's go a bit more than that. And I'll put some, uh, all right, there's my, there's my awesome water access situation. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm 
I'm going to do, actually I'm going to make this a little wider. Let's go, yeah. Because now it's not four high, it's just three high. I need, I need more. All right, see if we get a nice new dupe. I haven't played around with the whole allergy situation yet, but let's give it a try. Let's see, he already has a bed. Um, our research is complete. That means we can build algae terrariums for oxygen, and I like to put them right down near the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, that's more than I need. Um, I like to put them right down near the water because they have to, well, for one, carbon dioxide tends to fall down there and they clean carbon dioxide. And for another, they need a lot of, um, uh, they need water to operate and they produce polluted water which has to be emptied out. And it's just better if they're already down near all those devices. So, so I mean, they're already very labor intensive devices that the tubes have to put a lot of work into to keep running. So there's a lot less travel time and you end up saving a lot of effort. How are we doing? So once this is all mined out, then I'll spill this water back into this reservoir. The last thing we need is farms. They're doing the research on that now. Yeah, they are. And that means I'm going to need mealwood to grow. And I know it's nice. Wow, there's a lot of plants over here. Like having the wild plants to produce um, food is, is nice because it's free. Um, Maybe I'll, I mean, that's kind of a convenient area for it to be and everything down here also. Maybe I'll try that in this game. I'll just leave the wild plants out here and let them, I'll set them all to auto harvest. And we'll see how well that works. I have a feeling I'm going to end up tearing them up anyway, but looks like I have a bunch of mealwood seeds already, so I should be able to get my farm started. There's even more. Okay, that's cool. There's so much. So there's six things. Beds, bathrooms, water, uh, <laughs> what do they call it? Research, oxygen, and farms, which will eventually go up here. Check out that guy. There's another one. All that stuff is sort of in process right now, so it's being I'm doing the research, building the things. Um, oh, I made a fourth dupe, so I need to make a bit more oxygen production. I'm gonna put in. I think I need two. The next thing you should, that should you should start thinking about in your map is exploring the asteroid, and in particular, looking for Weezwort. Uh, one of the important things you know, that you run into in the game is everything gets too hot and you die. Um, now the idea is don't, don't make things, don't make more heat than you can get rid of, right? So the more wheeze warts you find, um, you know, wheeze warts, wheeze warts aren't really a permanent solution, particularly now that they made them use phosphorite um, in order to grow. Um, and I, I think that was a good move. I don't know. Everybody has their own opinions about those kind of things. I like the idea that you have to move up the more advanced, you know, cooling ideas. Uh, there's a, some kind of feature over here, so that's pretty sweet. I can go check that out. I see it's obsidian, and you need I need better digging skills in order to reveal it, really. Now, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. So get those six things rolling, which they are, and then um, start exploring your start exploring your asteroid. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I have this ladder, so these will be my farms. I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to dig too high all the way to the left, and we'll dig too high all the way to the right. Make ourselves a little tunnel. Um, there's some there's some some tiles I can't dig out yet, but as soon as I get some more skills, um, I'll give somebody better digging abilities. Uh, yeah, well, wait. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I can start digging up as well, but... No, actually that works out pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Explore that way. Which will give me access to these plants as well. Wow, there is a lot of free, you know, wild food plants on this map. 
I'm not even sure I have to make farms. I'd like to dig down also, but that's this is always a problem for me the, for the way I designed my base. I want to use one ladder for up and down, but it's right it's right in my reservoir. <laughs> I can't go through the bottom. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna. I mean, there's plenty to do otherwise. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Our pick research. There's plenty of exploring to do still. I'm gonna. I'm going to ignore it for the moment. All right. So. It'll, now we can build our farm, start building our farms, and I want to, like I said, I, I think the next thing that needs to happen is exploring the map. And for me, um, I really like to have uh, airlocks to keep gases from the rest of the asteroid from getting into my base, and you know, deodorizers to to deal with polluted oxygen that's out there. And um, and even I also like having an algae distiller, so I have something to do with the slime, so I don't just have slime lying everywhere. Um, for most of that stuff, though, I need a supercomputer. I mean, I guess I could do the I'll do the the door, and then I need a uh, you know to research the uh, advanced research so that I can research all that other stuff. Exploration is happening, sort of. See, so has some skill points. So let's get that. Ooh, perfect. The first guy is literally a digger, hard digging. And, hmm, I'm going to want advanced research. Let's have him learn that. I think the important thing you should be picking up about this is I'm using all of the basic stuff, right? Like, I've got outhouses and not uh, the other kind of toilet, whatever it is. Um, wash basins and not sinks. Um, that's so I don't have to have all of the plumbing, the pipes, the pumps and uh, like a water sieve and a power generator all of the stuff that goes to have to, to sup goes into the base all of the hardware you have to use in order to support that um, all that stuff you know it generates heat and kills you and until you can deal with it it's best to stay away from it because that's how you hang yourself great See if we can get a new dupe. Noodle arms, ah, oh, anemic, ah. Oh. So these guys, pipsqueaks, they plant seeds like automatically, right? <laughs> I'm trying to think if that would be annoying or awesome. I'm gonna take him. I'm still researching the door. What I need is a farm. It's just a little weird. I forgot to get that started. Let's go. Let's go this way with the farm. I need a bunch. Now what do we have? We've got this feature, there's another one over here. Like, I'm a little disappointed that it's so hard to get in there early in the game because obsidian is very hard now to dig through. And it seems like they're all covered with obsidian to some degree. Uh, but that's okay. It just means it's not a very, very early game thing anymore. You gotta, you need to get some skill points and digging, a little morale, that kind of stuff. So, all right, here we go. Mealwood, 29 mealwood seeds. It's ridiculous. How is that even possible? All right, that's. I mean, I'm doing this to demonstrate how to start a base. <laughs> I've never seen that many mealwood seeds in a starting base already, but. Still, they're usually not that hard to find, and if they are, you can just uh, stay on top of it, you know? More stuff to auto-harvest up here. There's some more over here. You know what? I think I'm going to maybe... I'm not going to plant... I have all this mealwood, all these mealwood seeds. I don't think I'm going to expand to this farm until I get a better idea of how much food I need to be making, because they're so... There's so much wild food here. Holy crap. Oh, I already did this one, right? Yeah. I like to have flat floors, so... I'm, whoops, that was a mistake. Come on. There we go. Left, digging to the right. Excellent. Um, now, this is a slime biome. I'm going to put a door right before it so that I can keep out polluted, polluted oxygen and stuff. Mostly. And this is a caustic biome, and I'm going to put a door before that as well to keep out, you know, chlorine and stuff. So we've got the door. I want supercomputers so that I can do more research. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's it. 
So this is all dug out. I think I'm, I can spill this water into it now, and I'm gonna ha I'll have to mop up after myself after all the water comes out. Um, like just this floor or something, but it should just run across this, go down the ladder into my reservoir. And that's, I sort of just do that with all the water in my base early in the game. Gets it out of the way, puts it all in one spot. Now that I look at this, it doesn't look like it's going to fit. I guess we'll find out. Also, my bathrooms are going to be out of order for a minute. Uh-oh. Somebody might pee. I got an achievement. And I got one of these in my last game. When I, ooh, there it is. Oh, huh, big deal. <laughs> There's the pip. Plant something, pip. I want to see it. There's seeds everywhere. Check it out. I could use some more free mealwood plants. No? I don't think that water's going to fit. Okay, alright, well, we'll just, uh... some more of this out, I suppose. Alright, well that it seems like that happened really fast and right now I'm focusing on like I've got those six main things and now I'm exploring the rest of the asteroid. Um, I don't feel like the starting base is complete until you have some kind of cooling going on and the, the starting cooling is Weaswort. So I guess that's that's my main focus on uh, exploration is find a cold biome so I can grab some Weaswarts. Oh, by the way, also Steam vent. Cool steam vent. Awesome. Is it a good one? Ooh, wow! 6.3 kilograms per second. It runs about half the time while it's active. That's fabulous. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. That's like... Let's say it's only active half the time, right? That means it's, um... It runs about half the time, so that's 3 kilograms, but that's like 1.5 kilograms non-stop. That's like an entire electrolyzer by itself. And, and one electrolyzer can produce oxygen for like 8 dupes. So just this one, this one cool steam vent I can use to produce enough oxygen for 8 duplicates. That's great. Having lots of duplicates is it's just fabulous, by the way. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with lots of dupes. And I know, I know the, the common wisdom is that you shouldn't you shouldn't have very many, and no, I, I don't think that's true. I think the important thing is you don't, you don't have more than you can afford. Dupes need two things. They need food and oxygen. So if you can produce those, then uh, you're golden for making, for having more dupes. Um, usually oxygen is the problem. Like in, when you get in the mid and late game, food is like super easy. Just make like a giant. My usual thing in the late game is I'll have a, a shovel ranch. What am I looking? I need to think about what I'm doing here. Um, what do we need next? We have the advanced research. Oh yeah, I want my I want my decontamination stuff for exploring the asteroid. Oop, new dupe. Flatulent squeamish is all right with me. Oh, I like I like Frankie here. Good. Okay, I'm gonna take Frankie. Yeah, we need someone with advanced research so that we can do the supercomputer science. Oh, also, I need a supercomputer. There. And it needs power. But I've started maps with like two of each just so I can research stuff like crazy and get to more advanced stuff really early. But we're not doing any tricks like that in this game because I'm demonstrating how to start a stable base. Um, so my dupes really aren't getting to the exploration part, the tasks I've given them for exploring the base, perhaps because they're blocked right here, partly. Uh, they're going to need to do all of this stuff, because that sand's just going to fall down. And I think that's mainly because I've only got five dupes. We're only on cycle 10, right? Another thing you'll notice that I am not upgrading is um, the terrariums into like electrolyzers. Oh, I just I just made a new tube. I need more terrariums. Uh, I need three. Um, 
I see I'm having a little overflow in my reservoir, so I'm going to dig these out a bit. See what we can see. Now, I still don't see any ice biomes, unfortunately. That's what we're looking for. Get some weasel warts and cool stuff off. Wait, this looks like there's something cold over here. All right, so I'm going to work on morale. Oh, whoops, I forgot something. I need a compost pile. Um, get rid of the polluted dirt that comes from the outhouses. That was a mistake. So I'm going to start. I'm going to build some rooms uh, to get the morale bonus, so that. Uh, so that I can, when I get the skill points, I can make a, you know, a digger that can dig through harder stuff. Because he'll have sufficient morale for that. So you get a, I think you get a one point bonus for having a, what is this, a latrine they call it, when it's, I don't know, a bathroom room. And uh, I think you get another one point bonus for having a barracks. So let's get that in. To... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I I set that up so there's room for eight cots. I'm I'm just gonna build them now. And the big bonus that you get is a mess hall, or what's the other one called? A great hall? Um, it makes such a big difference. You get, I think you get three morale points for a mess hall and like six for a great hall, so that is one you want. Uh, I need to leave space for, maybe I can just put it in right now, oh I, I can, a water cooler. That'll fit eight dupes. Great. Set these to stay open. In case you hadn't thought of it, if you just set these doors just to be open all the time, you still get the room bonus, but your dupes don't have to open it every time they want to go through. research. Uh, so what do I have? I have the deodorizer so I can deal with polluted oxygen and I want the I want that, the algae distiller, so I can deal with slime. Um, if you leave slime laying everywhere, well, you'll probably get slime lung. Still no ice biomes. Lame. There we go. Polluted ice. Okay, that's definitely an ice biome. Let's get over there. Um, just keep digging, I guess, and then we'll go up. So I'm going into a slime biome over here, and I just want... I'm going to put a deodorizer inside the door, and that'll help keep the, uh, you know, make it so that polluted oxygen doesn't get into my base. Oh, maybe another, another tube. Won't dig. Anemic. Oh, I hate that. It makes them so slow. I don't like either of those guys. Um, coal or sand? <laughs> this is like the worst, the worst choice ever. I, I'll take coal, why not? Now I'm just sort of waiting for things to happen. Um, I know that's something you run into that's a problem a lot in early bases, where it seems like you wait a really long time and nothing happens, but right now I think it's just the fact that I, I don't have a lot of dupes. I'm still having this water problem where it's backing up. I guess I could just let it go. It's just going to run into the reservoir over here. Uh, actually, I'm going to just dig it out and make it bigger. It needs to go down one more tile anyway. There we go. Fixed. Oh my gosh. Pips plant stuff into farm tiles. I need to pick a new research thing. Uh, so I have the algae distiller now. You know what? I'm going to do art, which sounds crazy, but I want it for my great room. Ooh, what's with the water over here? Oh, what have I done? All right, so that's just going to run across this and go into my reservoir, which is fine. But 
Oh, actually, that's a lot. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'll dig... I'll just dig a hole so that it goes into this other area and get that done quickly. There's a wheeze wart. That's what we're after. I'm going to dig straight up from here. Got polluted water everywhere. So I have kind of a some tactics for dealing with slime as I'm tunneling through slime. If you put a tile right next to a slime tile, then your dupes will spend a lot of time sanitizing the tile. So I just dig out the slime that would be too close to a tile, and then I fill in tiles to block out um, every th all the sl other slime in the biome. Uh, that's that slime. So, like, there's slime up here, so I'm just going to block that off. There's slime down here, so I'll block that off. Also, I like a flat space to run across. Now all the slime is blocked out from my, my hallway, right? So, uh, once it's all clean, there won't be, there won't be a slime long problem. I'm going to put in a deodorizer over here too so that to get rid of that polluted oxygen. They're working. And the important thing is that no slime tiles are touching your your tiles. And then your dupes won't spend a lot of time uh, sanitizing them. Slow learner, decreased strength won't build. What kind of a dupe won't build stuff? Ugh. Science minus three. Okay. Well, I need I need to get some more dupes in my base, so I'm going to take her. Ooh, new skill points. Alright, super hard digging. That's great. The important thing to notice about the base is it's pretty safe. Like, I'm not having temperature problems. Uh, I'm not, you know... I have plenty of food, although this map just had plenty of food. Plenty of water, at least for now. What I really need in order to call this a self-sustaining base, besides the fact that you can run out of dirt and water and stuff, uh, is cooling. I need those wheeze warts. Another um, cold biome. That's awesome. Um, it's weird, but I, I'm having a hard time deciding what to do next. I mean, I guess I could start working towards the you know, refined metals, that's a good thing. So, smelting. How did water... Oh, it's from the ice. Uh, that's going to be irritating. I don't like that. Well, at the very least, I can let it run into here. That still makes a big old puddle. I could make these mesh tiles so I don't have to walk through it. That's not a bad move, right? Do I have mesh tiles? I do not. Alright, I have access to my first wheeze wart. I don't want to put it right up here in my farm because it will make things too cold. I like to put them down near the bottom because later when you start doing that, when you start making things that produce heat, your water tends to get hot. Won't dig. Loud sleeper. Why am I getting so many awful dupes? I'll take some pufflets. Why not? Somebody's suffocating. How did you... Why are you dumb, Joshua? So, if you have enough wheeze warts to cool the same amount of heating that you're doing, then uh, this base is pretty safe and, and self-sustaining. Uh, at least until you run out of water for your algae terrariums, or you run out of dirt for your farms, or what else? Um, oh yeah, you might you could run out of phosphorite for your wheeze warts, but there's a lot of phosphorite on the map. Um, there's also a lot of dirt on the map, and unless you do something silly like try to just eat mealwood for the whole game, uh, you won't run out of dirt. Like, 
Well, definitely, it's the priority for the mid game is find a better source of food. You know, let's see. Water is a little more complicated, but that's kind of why. Well, first of all, you could use a since you can cool stuff now. It's okay to make a water sieve uh, so that you can produce clean water out of your polluted water, and that will make it last a pretty long time. But still, there should be water on your map somewhere. You know, don't make don't make too many dupes so that you can't produce enough oxygen for them from the water that's being produced on the map. Um, but right now you're exploring the map and you're sure to find, say, like this like this fabulous freaking steam, <laughs> cool steam vent over here. You're gonna find stuff like this and it should produce enough water for your base. Like one of the reasons why I'm using Wieswort for the early game cooling is, I mean, there's other ways to do it. Like people will run pipes through cold biomes and stuff to bring cold and this back to their base. Uh, but that's, I mean, maybe that, that'll work okay for the mid-game, but it involves all of those things that I'm trying to, that I'm suggesting that you avoid. You know, making pumps and power generators. That kind of stuff can get out of control really fast. Just, um, it's better to have the cooling in place, but that was a pretty small cold biome, and there's another one down here. And honestly, I think four Weezworts is probably enough for our little base. Pacifist is alright. Oh, I like this guy. Ren. Welcome to the team, Ren. I need to pick a new research thing. So I should have... I mean, I just did smelting, right? I'm gonna go for that smart battery. I'll get that last wart and then I'll call it a game. That's not true, actually. Uh, this game doesn't have to end. I'll end the video once I get that last wart. And I am I wonder... Like, maybe I'll just keep playing this game and uh, you guys can have a look at my mid-game ideas. Although the game can go, like, like, I think in the beginning you should probably stick to a pattern that's like this or close to this. And if you if you start building anything more advanced, you're asking for trouble. Um, of course, if you're a good player and you've done it a few times, there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't want to act, I don't want to sound like, you know, I'm all cocky about it, like, this is the only way. Because um, I'm sure there's a thousand ways to do it. Uh, on the other hand, I also think that there's probably 950 of those ways uh, will get you killed. Well, my suggestion, stick to a pattern that's close to this. Beds, bathrooms, research, oxygen, farms, and weaselworts. And explore the map. Okay, I got the fourth weaselwort. Let's have a look at the temperatures. I don't know. It's probably enough to keep things cool. For the amount of heat that I'm generating, which is very little, and that's how it should be, I think, in the early game when you're setting up your base in the very beginning. Um, where the game should go f f to now is um, probably first thing, get rid of the algae terrariums. Your dupes will spend so much time doing the maintenance on those. Um, right now they're not even keeping up. What's with the deal? Using algae, it doesn't have water. Okay, that's, oh wait, actually there's a reason for that. My, uh, my pitcher pump doesn't have access to water right now. Little mistake. Put another pitcher pump over here just to fix that problem because there's water over there. Um, anyway, the point was uh, these algae terrariums use tons and tons of duplicate labor. Now that you can cool your base to some degree, um, it's time to set up, you know, maybe a coal generator with a battery to control it and an electrolyzer and a pump to feed the electrolyzer. And that's, uh, that'll free up, that automation will free up your dupes for doing all of the things and um, stop your game from c coming to a halt because you have to wait forever for them to do anything. You know, largely, I would say, start looking around the asteroid for resources. Get to the point where you can get your your dupes. Ah, oh, super hard digging. I love it. Now he can go check out those um, check out the other features on the map, see what they are, and start making use of those resources. And I guess where the game goes may depend largely on what you find, right? Uh, perhaps you guys are interested in seeing more of this base as it develops. Uh, I'm. That would be fun, I think. Uh, or maybe you want to try some of the some of the more exotic asteroids that my videos only get like five comments so if you there's something you want to you know if you have an opinion about what you'd like to see next just uh, just put a comment in there and just think if only five people comment then your vote is very powerful and I'll read it so so do it and I'll just I'll just continue with whatever you like to see next I suppose